Hey everybody, what's going on today on YouTube? I am West that Tech Guy, and I am back with another battery build video for you guys. Today we're going to be discussing how to install, wire, hook up a balanced BMS to this 24 volt, 48 amp power battery that I have sitting right here in front of me. All right, man, so it's been a little while since I've done my last video. I do apologize. Uh, I've been a little uh, a little uh, distracted with other things going on in life, but I'm back with it anyway. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about this 24-volt, 48-amp hour um, 8S 6P battery that I've built here. These are Headway 38120HP cells. They are configured, like I said, in a uh, 6P 8S configuration. That gives us uh, 48 batteries, about 48 amp hours of power. So anyways, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be talking about how to hook up this little balanced BMS here, or even the bigger BMS that I have over there, and why we hook it up, what we use it for, etc. And uh, this is one of our Solar Jenny uh, BMSs. It's a Life PO4 8S 24 volt BMS, and um, it has a discharge current of 50 amps and a charge current of 25 amps. And, uh, you know, it's a small little BMS, as you can see, it's about the size of a little bit smaller than a credit card. And, uh, you know, it, uh, it's a good little balanced BMS if you're not running a lot of amperage or a lot of high current or draw. So if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, of course, be sure to put them in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to answer them for you. I guess the first thing would be, why do we use a BMS on a battery pack like this? And why do we use a balanced BMS? And a BMS is strictly a battery management system. That's all it is. It just manages the battery and uh, the loads connected to it. So the balance part of it means that we're going to balance equally these eight individual groups to where they all charge up to about 3.6, 3.65 volts per group, giving us a total of around 29.2 volts uh, when this battery is fully charged. What the BMS does is it's going to protect against overload uh, protection, short circuit protection, um, uh, reverse polarity, things like this, uh, direct short, and it's going to make sure that when we're that when we're charging the batteries, that we get a top balance um, as close as possible to each group of cells. And this is what we call a common port BMS, meaning you charge through and discharge through the same cables. So you see two big wires coming out of here, and uh, then on the back of it here, you've got a little plug, a little white plug that you can see. And that's where our balance leads are going to go in right there. And these two wires are the actually both negative wires. This blue wire here goes to the battery's negative, and then this black wire becomes the new battery negative. It's very simple. So this will connect like this to my battery's negative, and then this becomes the new negative, which you would connect your battery charger's negative to, or the uh, negative to any load you might have right to this negative, and that becomes the new negative for the battery. Now, this isn't a very powerful BMS. Like I said, it can only, only do um, you know, a discharge of 50 amps, and this battery is capable of doing 600 amps. So if we were going to do something bigger, then we'd want to use like this guy right here, which is a lot bigger BMS, as you can see. Uh, this is capable of 250 amps continuous discharge and 125 amps charge in. Uh, it's got two gauge wires here, and this is a big beast you know, compared to the size of this battery. Uh, we're not going to use this one today for this video, just simply because the balanced BMS wires that I wired up have a different plug on the end than this one accepts. So um, I got this here more for visual and whatnot, just kind of give you guys an idea. Now this is a 250 amp BMS and this is a 50 amp BMS. So there's a big difference in what you're seeing here size-wise. Um, this would be more industrial, like for, you know, a, uh, a power wall in your house where you're pulling a lot of amperage uh, or a car audio. Uh, something where you, where you need, you know, that 250 amp protection. This little BMS would work fine on this if you're using something smaller than 50 amps. Say you're running a, this on an electric bike or a, even a small power wall that's not taking a lot of power. Um, you've only got 50 amps. Um, and you can also just use this to balance uh, the batteries when you're charging them. You don't necessarily need to use this BMS on the discharge on these batteries because these are such strong, powerful batteries that you could actually bypass the, the BMS if you wanted to on the discharge. Not recommended, but you could do it. Anyways, so let's uh, get to how to wire up the BMS and whatnot. So 
I'm going to take off this capping tape here. Now, uh, the way this battery is built, I built it from the negative here going around this way, kind of in a U shape, and my positive is over here. And I wired up my leads already, and people get these little battery leads here messed up a little bit. There's, there's, this is an 8S uh, balance wire, and it's got nine wires coming out of it, the ninth wire being the negative. What a lot of people want to do is they want to grab this negative, connect the negative, and then just start connecting this up to the positive, and then so on and so forth. Well, there's a pattern. There's a way you have to do these. So every group of, po every group of batteries has a positive and negative as they're connected in series. And it's important that you get the right red wire to the right group or it won't work. So in this case, in most cases, at least all of our BMSs, the negative wire is negative, and then the opposite side of that, the, the, wire, the red wire on the other end, that is your number eight, where most people think that's the number one, and this one being number eight. So a quicker version of that is the true positive of your battery is the number eight. It's the last group in the, se in the series, not the first group in the series. The first group in the series is right underneath the negative, the positive to the underneath the negative. That would be the first uh, group of positives. So what you do is the way this battery is built, the way most batteries are built, you're gonna have all odd and even numbers on one side of the battery. So on the top of this battery, all of my positive um, groups are even numbers. So I know that I only have to wire up two, four, six, and eight on the top of my battery. And then underneath my battery, everything's gonna be one, three, five, and seven. And I've numbered the plates here, um, two, four, six, and eight. And then on the other side, I've got a one, three, five, seven. And this is the negative here. And um, maybe I'll go like this so it's a little easier to see in the above camera. So what I've done is I've taken my BMS balance lead. I've taken my negative wire and went right here to my negative battery. Then the first one right next to it is the number one, which is going actually underneath. The next one is number two. If you see that there, that's number two wire. And that's going right here to my number two spot. Then of course my number three is going back under the battery. Then my number four is right here. It's coming to my number four spot and six and eight and so on. Now, I know this is a video about how to wire the BMS. And so that's the best explanation I can give you is first you've got to understand the battery and how the series works. And like I said, this is an uh, 8S battery. So each group of these has a positive to them. As you flip the batteries over and build your battery bank, um, you have to connect these little wires to each group of positives. So a 8S battery means there's eight wires that got to be connected to each group's positive. Now, quickly, the way that this battery is built, like I said, is this is my negative. So to get to my first BMS wire, I have to go to the bottom of this battery group down to its positive, which is on this other side over here. Then we're going to get crazy here and start flipping stuff. Now this is that negative right here. Now it's because I flipped it, it's on the other side. Number one is right below my negative. And then the battery gets built this way. Then these positives connect to these negatives and these negatives go down to this positive down here. And when we flip that around, again, I'm just gonna flip it over. Now here's our negative here. So our number one positive is down here. It came across here up through this group of six, and this is now our number two. They will connect from that positive over to this group's negative, down through that negative to this group's positive, and that will be our number three. And as you can see here in the top shot, then we're gonna come across the bottom to this group's negative from this group's positive, come up through this side here to number four. Then across over here, to this from positive to negative, down through there, this will be our number five here. It's gonna come across this way, back up. This is our six positive. Stepping over again through the series, from positive to negative, down through this battery to its positive. That one will be number seven. Then it'll connect from seven here, over here from positive to negative again, and up through this battery to number eight. And that's how we'll wire that. All right, so now that you've got the VMS wired, I'm gonna put this cap tape back on here just for safety's sake. It's like throwing VMS up here. To know if you've done it right, you just grab your little connector right here, 
and you put a, uh, a voltmeter on it. So let's go ahead and put the voltmeter on it. And I'll show you how to test that. You take your meter's uh, negative and you put it on the negative pin right here. Touch the negative and then you touch the positive of the first red wire and you should see a voltage jump up to about three, three six, depending on what your batteries are set at. And I can't see the meter, but yeah, there's 3.45. So now when we touch the second wire, we should see about seven or six something. There's my second one, we're at 687. My third one goes to 10.3. My fourth one goes to 13.8. My fifth one goes to 17.26. My sixth one to 26.8. My seventh one, 24.17. And my last one at 27.65. So that lets us know that we jumped up in increments of about 3.1 ever, 3.3, 3.4 per group, and that we're that we're set and right. So now this balance, this battery is pretty balanced already as it is, I think. Um, but it has been sitting here a while, so it's got a, lot, got a little bit of discharge in it. So then after you're wired up and you've test, you're, you've tested your your plugs, you simply just plug in the BMS, and you're connected. Now, in order for this to work and to get power in or out of it, you've got to put, you've got to connect your your BMS uh, blue wire. In this case, it's a blue wire, and it says right here B negative. And that usually means battery's negative. And then you have a P negative. And that's, on this BMS, because it's a comma port BMS, it means power negative. Power in, power out. Uh, you'll also see some of the third wire that'll say C negative, and that usually means charge negative. And then P negative, which is power negative. And so you would run your, your battery's charger negative to the one wire, and then all your loads to the, to the third wire. So all I'm going to do is just connect a jumper wire right to this blue wire. And I'm going to just connect it right over here to my negative on my battery. And we are now protected. We now have a protected battery pack with the BMS. And we take our meter and we throw it on our positive here. And this black wire right here, this black negative, and we will have what we had before. 27.65 volts, as you can see in the camera. So we know we're now connected and everything's working fine. Now, you guys all say, I guess, after I build the battery, well, how do we charge it? Well, we just simply take a battery charger. Right here, we happen to have a 8S. This is Solar Jenny 8S uh, 10 amp charger. This is our SGC 300 model. It'll give 10 amps at 24 volts. This will charge right up to about 28.8 volts. Keep it just a little under 29.2 uh, for safety. It's got a green light on it here. Once we connect the BMS and the battery uh, charge, or the, B, the battery charger to the BMS, uh, that light will go from green to red, and we'll be going. So we're going to connect the battery's charger, the battery charger is positive to the positive of the battery pack, which is right here. Come on. So there we got the positive to the positive, and now the negative goes to the negative of the BMS, not the negative over here to the battery. And then that you'll hear, you'll see that light go red, and then the fan will kick on. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but there's the red light, and this is running. If I disconnect this, we go back to a green light, and it stops charging. Now I can just hardwire the negative of this charger to the negative of this battery and still charge the battery, but I won't be balanced. A couple of, the, a couple of these groups could go over 3.65 volts and damage the batteries where the rest of them don't get to 3.65 volts. And so that's the key, you know. Uh, but that's pretty much a simple BMS in a nutshell. I hope I explained it enough for you guys to, to actually understand what I was saying. Uh, just remember the top of your battery is generally gonna be all even numbers. The bottom of your battery is gonna always be odd numbers. And it's just how you build each group. Every group, so we're eight S, so we have eight groups. We know that every group has a positive and a negative. And if we have a positive sitting here, well, we always start with a negative. So let's say if we have the negative sitting here, then we know the number one positive of the lead is gonna be underneath that negative because you gotta to connect to each group's positive with a balanced lead. Um, anyway, other than that, man, I know it's been a long time since I've done a video. And so what I'm gonna do, man, is I'm gonna give away a free battery. So I'm going to give you guys what we call an eight pack here. It's got eight of the 38120 S's or 38 or, or eight of the 38120 HP's, which is these red ones. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give away a BMS, a battery charger, and an eight-pack of batteries. And you guys can figure you can configure that into either a small 12-volt um, pack, or you can configure that into a small 24-volt pack. And once I give it away to you guys who have all liked, subscribed, and shared, um, you can tell me if you want to build a 24-volt or a 12-volt, and we'll accommodate you with the proper bus bars for that and the proper BMS, man. So um, in order to win this battery, what you're going to have to do is comment on this video. You're going to have to share this video. You're going to have to be sure that you've um, signed up over our website at SowerJenny.com and made an inquiry that you want to win this battery. And show me where you've shared this video, and then I'll pick a winner here pretty soon, and I'll be giving somebody, you know, a two or $300 package on a brand new battery build. You'll have to build it, but we'll send it to you, man. Anyways, guys, as always, I appreciate you coming and watching. I'm sorry it's been so long since I've done a video. Uh, and, you know, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Any comments, any questions you have, please put them in the comment section below. I'll do my best to get to them for you. Uh, give us a call if you need to. Uh, if you need anything, shoot over to SellerJenny.com. Everything that you see in this video is over there. And, uh, man, have a good one. I appreciate you guys watching as usual, and enjoy.